Hello everyone, welcome to week 21. So what makes me happy during a PhD? That's a big, big question. So as I saw that this week, I had this feeling, that's why the title of this week is What Makes Me Happy. Is it music? back no it's not music any other guesses leave your comments is it getting gifts from the university at the end of the year because of the new year gifts that you get something like this like the this is the electric flask from inventum it's like for boiling and heating water uh, no certainly not not also that so what actually makes me happy? Stay tuned for this video to know what actually makes me happy. And leave your comments below if you have any guesses what makes me happy. Is it cooking? Yeah, to some extent, cooking uh, makes me happy. <laughs> uh, watching my own vlogs? Yeah, definitely they make me happy because I'm trying to contribute something for everyone and obviously so just try to subscribe to my channel and enjoy the content out there please subscribe and share spread the word that I'm here to help you and I have different themes this is my weekly PhD experience there are other themes check out and Please, please subscribe, subscribe. If you don't subscribe and hit that like button, then only we will get to know more people and uh, it will increase the visibility of the channel and everything else. So this makes me happy, but there are many other factors that makes me happy during a PhD. Uh, uh, for example, you might see some of the vlogs I made before about the Okay, did you watch? It was just a glimpse. So just check the playlist where I have uh, a GoPro attached to my body and try to shoot something around the Netherlands while biking. Uh, that is one of the factors. And the main factor is the PhD itself. PhD itself makes me super happy. So why is it so? Why do you think? Leave your comments below. If you leave your comments below, then I can know like what did you think at this moment of the video. So what makes me happy in the PhD? The first thing is the nature of the PhD in Netherlands or in Europe. Check my week two video if you don't know about it. So you are an employee in Netherlands. You are not a student. So that helps a lot. Like you don't have that much of responsibility of studying, like doing some courses or something like that. And you have a lot of other tasks, like maybe teaching activities or maybe framing your research questions. So what actually uh, feels nice is that you are kind of independent. It feels like you are your own, uh, although you have a supervisor, but you are or your own uh, decision maker. So you can decide what you actually want to uh, frame your problem and how you are going to solve that problem. So you make all the decisions. You only go to your supervisor or they pass the decision when they feel it necessary. It's not that they uh, nitpick everything that you decide like from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, everything. So they just look over certain aspects and you are your own decision maker. So that is a very powerful responsibility that you are independent and autonomous. And 
that helps a lot i mean like i feel uh, very nice and because of that you can divide your time how you are going to spend for your phd it does not need to be only spent for the phd itself so you have a lot of free time in which you can make something like vlogs which i do love or maybe biking around netherlands or maybe reading some novels cooking and other kind of stuff what are your hobbies and this kind of stuff maybe traveling the world and seeing around all the world so that, that that's that makes that helps a lot like that gives you a sense of uh, feeling of uh, ecstatic feeling like a feeling of happiness and uh, you can pursue your dreams whatever you want it's not only phd because then the life becomes very mundane like you don't need to always spend entire time of your you need to do proper planning so that is also ingrained in the culture in netherlands that you learn how to plan properly everything right from planning your schedule from your very childhood to planning everything during your phd and the meetings and other kind of things the reason i'm highlighting all this is because this week i felt all these things myself like what are the advantages like i'm not saying it's the advantages but from my perspective it's how phd has helped me to shape my other skills it's not only like reading research or publishing or becoming a better researcher but it also helped me to shape my all round skills of my life because of the work life balance and the time it gives you to spend on other kind of activities if you plan well and i also gave a short talk which you will see now hi everyone uh... so this talk was actually about giving back to the society uh, based on my experiences which is because i'm talking with you now this is the vlog because of that reason like i'm giving back my experiences so that it will help you when someone starts a fresh new phd or someone starts fresh in the netherlands or in europe so this all these uh, bunch of dump of information will help everyone out there so that's the reason i'm always saying subscribe share and give a thumbs up please so that it will spread around this good things around everyone so basically these are all the things which makes me happy during a phd i highlighted the most important things and another incentive finally you can also find that in week 2 video like as you are not a student out here so you get a salary so that keeps you moving like you have in the mind like always you will see it's very strange in this world whenever you pay something for some service or whenever you are paid then the value of that thing becomes a lot higher like a free service you don't have that perspective in your mind that something free will be that important but something which is when you attach money to it then it becomes very valuable so I would don't want to make it too long so meet you in week 22 and have a good day everyone peace